What's up guys, Demon Hunter back after a long break with more World of Tanks. This time checking out the T-54 first prototype, the new tier 8 premium Russian medium tank. And I'm going to fast forward here past all this crap because we all know what this looks like. And I'm going to go up to the hill. This is not a very fast tank, so... Uh, that's part of the reason I fast forwarded because it does take a while to get up there and I didn't want to bore anybody. So I'm going to go ahead and hide in this bush. You can see I do have camouflage on my tank, uh, which does add a little bit of value to the camouflage rating. And we're just going to kind of hang out. Looks like our T25-2 already killed a, their WZ. And there's a Tiger P. Let's take some shots Target at the Tiger locked. P. Penetration. You can see a uh, decent roll, 246, uh, which is around the alpha average of this gun. Uh, pretty good gun on the tank. Doesn't really need premium, but never hurts to have it. Uh, I want to apologize, too, for some reason in the replay, the Target game kind of floats, even though I wasn't moving. So I'm not sure why it did that. Uh, there's another shot into the Tiger P. Target disengaged. And I'm not sure why, but like I said, it, it kind of floats around. That shot missed. <clears throat> Excuse me, not the most accurate gun uh, on this tank, although it is strong when it does Ready hit. Target lost. And again, that's something with the replays. I'm not sure why if I use auto-aim, it doesn't show the reticle circle on him, although he is being locked on, too. I'm not really sure why that is. Hopefully, Wargaming will fix that soon. And move up to see if I can spot anybody. Of course, the KV-5 is way out there, and so is the T-69. They'd probably spot somebody before me, but... Figured I'd try anyway. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here because there's really nothing that goes on. And then I notice, oh crap, look, they're all coming middle toward our base. So I'm gonna get up here and get some shots on them. And I also don't know why, if you look on the lower left where the chat is, I. I accidentally hit attack. I meant to tell him to the WZ131 to back off. But for some reason, the replay shows everything that people are using with the fast keys twice, as you can see right there. And there's Time Cromwell. Penetration. Good shot into him, 240. A little bit of a Time low roll, lost. but we'll take it. And now he's dead. And it looks like there's a Tiger 1 and an M6 coming in also. I can see the WZ shooting at the M6, but I can't see him quite yet. There he is. I put a good shot into him. Another low roll, 254. Target lost. M6 is dead. Can't really see the Tiger. Uh, trying to guess his position and take a shot at him. Uh, so, I, sir... Uh, I don't know what I was thinking here, honestly. I move over again, try and guess his position, and take a shot. That was two wasted shots that I should not have taken in retrospect. Uh, it's going to come back to haunt me later, um, as are some of these sh shots coming up as well, which you'll, you'll find out. And for those of you who haven't checked out my channel. I don't claim to be a good player. I don't claim to be even a decent player. I just like to put games up that I think I either did something good or learned something hard, either the easy way or the hard way. Uh, you know, Target take lost. it for what it is. It's, you know, mostly for entertainment. Target disengaged. Uh, really, just for my entertainment. I just put them up just for the hell of it. So hopefully you're enjoying them. But looking at this FCM 50 ton, he's got to go. Uh, there's a donk shot if I've ever seen one. Like I said, the accuracy of this gun isn't very good. 
Um, but even so, I mean, those shots are going straight into him. He's just angling very well. So uh, I can't penetrate him right there. That shot, I don't even know why I thought that was a good shot, but I took it anyway and it missed. Um, so I, I'm like, all right, screw this. He's got to die. I'm loading gold. Load gold and he's finally dead. Didn't want to keep bouncing off of him. So this T29 is where I was kind of talking about, uh, you'll see me dunking some more stupid shots. That was a good shot into him. Kind of a lucky shot because my reticle wasn't fully aimed at the time. Target not. But he backs off. And you can see I was still locked onto him, but the reticle circle was off to the right for some reason. Not sure why the hell it does that. It's kind of annoying. So not doing too bad so far. I'm at 1,400 damage. Uh, haven't even been shot at. I don't think I've even been spotted yet, honestly. Uh, here's a shot at the T29. Goes high, hits the side of his turret, which is never going to pen. As anybody who knows anything about the T29 knows that. And completely dunked that shot. Like I said, looking back on this, there's so many shots in this game that I would not have taken. Um, and unfortunately they kind of fucked me over because of it, but it happens, I guess. So waiting to see if anybody shows themselves. Yeah, the T-29 complaining that I'm camping, even though, you know, I've, I've probably done the most on the team Target for damage. Not. Donk that shot. And that hits the side of the T-29's hull, which he's at way too steep of an angle. I'm never going to penetrate him. And there's a T-28 there. I know his weak spot. I'm going to aim for the hatch on the upper left there. And that one does hit. Uh, really low roll on that one. Only 241, but I'll take it. And he gets killed. And that was a stupid shot. I should have known that this gun is not accurate enough to try and hit that T-29 when he's like that. Um, like I said, it's just another one of those shots in retrospect that I wish I wouldn't have taken. Um, I mean, you can see now I'm only down to 13 bullets left. I mean, I know there's only four of their team left, but... You know, this thing only has about a 250 to 270 average damage roll, so it's not something that I would, uh... Not a situation I would like to see myself in, having only 13 shots left with four of these guys left. Having no idea what their health is like. So I was going to try and cut around behind this T-29, which is why I started to go this way, and then I spot this SG-100M1, dunk that shot, which also sucks. He bounces off of me. That one goes in, he bounces again. The nice part about this tank is it has stupid frontal armor. I mean, we're talking like IS-7 frontal turret armor. Um... You can see this SG-100M1 can't penetrate me at all. He even ran into me and damaged himself. I uh, was able to take him out quite easily. I uh, wasn't really too worried about him. And he calls me a noob gold spammer, which I thought was fun. That always makes me laugh. On my way to go find that T29, and I noticed, oh crap, SU-122S. Put a good shot in him. Now I'm out of a APCR rounds. I'm firing regular rounds now. Ricochet. You can see that one went way left and bounced off the side of his front there. Uh, just in case any of you were wondering, the... T-54 first prototype at tier 8 as a medium tank has 180 millimeters of frontal turret armor. 
120 in the sides and 75 in the rear and 120 of frontal hull armor along with the awesome angles and everything it makes for very very strong armor um, I took too many shots from that ISU right here um, you know he, he took me down past half of my health the thing is a very rapid firing uh, 122 millimeter gun that does just ridiculous damage um, but donked that shot. I don't know why I'm aiming at the side of the turret, even though it says it'll penetrate, but it goes God knows where and completely screws up. Uh, so now I only have HE left, which for some reason I fired without aiming, and now I have one shot left, and there's two of them left. One of them being an RHM. So I do take a shot at this T-29 here, it goes way left again and blows off his track, but at least it resets the cap. But here's where it comes back to bite me, as I said, now I am running out with zero ammo. I have nothing to shoot. And oh shit, almost full health RHM, that's always fun. But that armor saves me. He bounces. He looks like he's got the big gun too. So he bounced off me with the, with a gun that will one shot me at this point. Uh, ram him for a good 300 damage. Can't complain there. And I get hit by the T29. The RHM blocks. Or excuse me, takes a shot again. My armor blocks it. No problem. And the T-29 takes me out. Meanwhile, our IS has been just sitting there letting them both engage me and not shooting at the T-29. And unfortunately, I did rage a little bit on that, but, you know, it happens. We all do it. Uh, so I tell him to hit the T-29, and now he decides with 110 health he's going to push on a 395 health T-29 and a, I think, 700 health uh, RHM takes a shot only manages to crit and as he's moving in on the T29 oh guess what there's still an RHM goodbye it's taken out and that's the end of that fight so overall not a bad fight um, I mean you can see I did pretty decent for damage uh, taking a look at the results, I did get a second class mastery as well as a defender and high caliber, uh, which you know wasn't too bad. I mean, I hit. I mean, you can see here most of their team uh, was able to secure eighty-eight thousand credits, even on a loss, which is awesome because uh, I used all my ammo, so I kind of needed all the money I could get. But taking a look here, I got second class mastery. Fire for effect. Duelist. Bruiser. And then, like I said, Defender. And High Caliber. So taking a look at the team results and sorting it by damage dealt, you can see I was way out on top of the team. Uh, having the next best player only dealing 1,900 damage, I did 19, or 3,374. So you can see 34 shots fired, uh, 21 direct hits, which is awful. Uh, of those 21, only 13 pen, doing 3,300 damage. So this thing has the potential to do a lot more damage. Um, hits from over 300 meters, 1,900. That was mostly when I was on the hill. But look at that armor. Damage blocked by armor, 3,250. Uh, you know, considering that this tank has, you know, only a total health pool of uh, 1,300, I mean, I would have died three times in this battle, technically. So, yeah, I mean, it was a great game. Uh, went pretty well. I mean, there was a lot I could have done differently, of course, but... Uh, overall, pretty happy with the result, even though it ended up being a loss. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, sorry for the long delay between videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some more here soon. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe to my channel, rate or comment below, and check out some of my other videos also. Uh, I think you might find them uh, equally as amusing, if not informative. 
But all right, guys, I'm going to sign off, and you have a good one.